Hello, this is Charlie and Lucas here at the Spooky Pinball Factory showing you how to install and or replace a robot servo in your Rob Zombie game should you need to. Number one, make sure your uh, LED is out of the way. Notice the orientation of the wire. He's got it a little bit twisted, but not a big deal. There you go. We're tucking that under. And basically like that. You want these two tabs on that side of the screw mount and this one on this side of the screw mount. So Lucas will go ahead and push that in. At this stage, you are going to turn your game on. And once the game boots, it's automatically going to center that servo forward. We'll go ahead and shut it back off. This is the little disc that mounts to the bottom of the robot's foot. Notice that the wire goes out and around the back. Make sure it's up off the pop bumper ring so it's not making contact and not shorting out. Then you're going to add that little screw to the center of the, the servo mount. There you go. You can see Lucas has even drawn a line here showing which direction you want it to go. And yes, we realize this is a pain in the butt, but it's a cool effect. So we got to put up with it. Right, Lucas? Yeah. He loves installing these every day. Alright. So basically then, you, you can see Luke's got, there's a couple of, a couple of, you'll, yours will have a screw hole in it, and Luke's going to mark the orientation again. He is loading up a couple of those very tiny screws. And again, this will all be in your game when you get it. So basically, you just need to make sure that that servo and the robot are lined up straight together. I would recommend doing this with a small hand screwdriver, not a drill, but Lucas is a trained professional, so we don't, we don't argue with him. <laughs> Straighten out your light in the back. Basically, you're just trying to make sure that that servo is absolutely going the right direction and your robot is facing the right way. Otherwise, he's going to crash into the habit trail over here or uh, be pointing at something you don't want him pointing at. And yes, this is a pain in the butt. We get that. There you go. Robot. So basically, you have to install that servo twice for lack of a better explanation. Ring. Yep. Over your servo cable, which is twisted. There you go, work your pop bumper ring around there and then work, there's a little spacer ring that goes underneath that. And there is no nice, beautiful, gentle way to do this, so. Now he's going to install that servo back in exactly the way it was. You'll know it's correct by the fact that your robot is reaching for the boom box. And if you get your Rob Zombie and your robot may be a little off center. Blame this guy. <laughs> Don't call me. It was my fault. It was Luke. Basically, you got to get that little plastic spacer in there, down inside the pop bumper housing. And all that does is essentially hold the uh, mini servo in place. You can see it kind of fits around the lamp there. And then it's just a matter of putting those two screws on. There you go. Just barely clears around the robot, but it does does work. Pain in the butt. See, he's lining up the holes on both sides. Well, that 
it just came out. Be very gentle moving the robot around in your servo with the, the game off. Of course, you don't want to strip out the new servo you're installing. There you go. There you go, and you can see he's got the plastic ring underneath lined up. Snugging those down. I should have an installed cigarette robot. And when you turn the game back on, you'll know you got it right if the robot... There you go. He's reaching for the boom box. Perfect. Nice job, young man. <laughs> and then this is the, uh, this is the light-up version of the robot with the light-up eyes. So Luke has to feed this back down through and install it back into the connector. Um, you'll already have all that done in your game, so that's it. Six minutes and 30 seconds on how to install a robot. Clearly Luke's better at this than I am at this stage of the game because he's done dozens.